these people want to know. Where in the world is... San Diego, This is Ronnie Rios. She likes to watch pro basketball. When she was in Florida, she saw a lizard jump over her sister. This is Jared Leedy. He enjoys hiking and collecting comics. When he visited the South Dakota Badlands, he thought the scenery was incredible. This is Yesenia Santiago. She likes rollerblading, and she has family in Puerto Rico and Ecuador. This is Vic the Slick, that slimy salesman from Carmen San Diego's Roost of Wranglers. Vic the Slick. His last known whereabouts? The East River in New York City. Completed in 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge is an architectural and engineering masterwork. It linked two of America's biggest cities, New York and Brooklyn. These days, Brooklyn is part of New York City, and the bridge is still a vital artery. Every day, nearly 130,000 people drive on the bridge or walk or bike across the elevated promenade. Until today, that is. <laughs> Every crooked salesman dreams of selling the Brooklyn Bridge, and Vic wants to be the first to succeed. So today, using his criminal cutting torch, he detached the bridge from its massive mooring and wafted it away. Gumshoes, you've got to vaporize Vic, catch Carmen, and bring back the Burgled Bridge. And here's Ackley, senior agent in charge of training new recruits. I'm going to be late again. Greg Lee! Hey, there you go. Hey, guys. How are you? Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, right, Ronnie. He's one of those. And Jarrett, and it's Yesenia. Right? Oh, good. Nice to have you guys with Elizabeth. I just want to remind you that if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that's not bad. <laughs> to help you out with that, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. You guys know how to play this game, so let's get started with our very first clue by checking in with the rockin' reptile, the Acme Snake. Watch. Yo, dudes. I just saw Vic on a way long river. It's like 4,000 miles, man. That's even longer than I've slithered for a dead concert. Hey, and check this. Nobody ever paddled the whole river until 1985. That's when these dudes took six months to do it, from the Peruvian Andes to the coast of Brazil in plastic kayaks. That's like total brave -osity. So paddle on, gumshoes. I'm out of here. Oh, thanks, uh, thanks very much. Okay, guys, name the uh, river, if you will, please. Is it Amazon, Paraná, or São Francis Francisco? Sorry about that. Uh, remember the clues that we heard? 4,000 miles long, entire length, first paddled in 1985, and river runs from Peruvian Andes to Brazil's coast. Looks like everybody's ready. Ronnie, we'll so well, not quite. Are you ready? Okay, sorry. Ronnie, what do you think? I chose the Amazon. Amazon. What do you think, Jarrett? I chose the Amazon. Amazon. Yesenia, what do you think? I chose the Amazon. Amazon. The answer we're looking for is the Amazon. <laughs> nice job. As you know, we give you 10 crime bucks every time you give us a correct answer. So that means Ronnie has 60, Jared has, Jared has uh, 60, and Yesenia has 60 crime bucks. Nice job. For our next clue, let's check the Acme Crime Net computer. This thing has some trouble getting started sometimes, so we'll just... Oh, look at this. It's a light bulb. Oh. And a house. I don't know what this... Porch light? No. The house has an idea. House light. Lighthouse. Oh, yeah. 500. Lighthouse... I got it! Vic must be in the capital of the Dominican Republic. The government recently built a lighthouse to commemorate the 500th anniversary of Columbus landing in the Americas. A great detective never overlooks the obvious or the stupid. Okay, guys, remember, the, uh, name the city, if you will, please. Is it San Juan, Santo Domingo, or Port of Spain? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital of Dominican Republic, lighthouse commemorating 500th anniversary of Columbus landing in the Americas. Everybody's ready. Ronnie, what do you think? I chose Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. Jared. I chose Santo Domingo. Same thing, Yesenia. I chose Santo Domingo. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody's right, ladies and gentlemen. So that means Ronnie has 70, Jarrett has 70, Yesenia has 70 crime bucks. For our next clue, we... yes! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, gee. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
I think we have a serious problem here. Hey, buddy! You look terrible. What happened? Victor Slick's in a, in a city in southeastern Egypt. Oh. Come on, come on. Keep, we need more information. Oh. It's where they dammed the Nile River to create Lake Nasser. The dam provides a water supply for irrigation and elect... Elect... Steady, elect steady, come on. Electricity. But many villages and ancient ruins had to be relocated so that they wouldn't end up underwater. Is that it? I think so. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he gave so much for our cause. Oh. <sighs> Hey, this is a really nice prop. It really is. Well, thank you, Greg. Yeah. Hey, man. It's an Egyptian obelisk. Yeah. It's uh, Scott. A, a replica of Cleopatra's needle, Scott. only smaller. Scott. Hey, Scott. Scott, you're supposed to be dead. Oh. Name the city, if you will, please. Is it Luxor, Aswan, or El Minya? Remember the clues that we heard? City in southeastern Egypt, Lake Nasser, and near a large dam which forced many relocations. <laughs> Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Ronnie's ready. So is Jarrett and Yesenia's ready now. Ronnie, what do you think? I chose Aswan. Aswan, what do you think, Jarrett? I chose Aswan. Aswan, Yesenia, what do you say? I chose Aswan. Everybody said the same thing, and everybody's right again. Nice job. Okay, so that means Ronnie, you have 80. Jarrett has 80, and Yesenia has 80 crime bugs. For our next clue, we turn to the... You know what that means. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions are about uh, Victor Slick's most r uh, recent known whereabouts, which is Ajwan, Egypt. They're all with five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. In the high cliffs opposite Ajwan, you can visit ancient structures built for princes, governors, and other dignitaries. Are these structures expensive restaurants, tombs, or luxury hotels? Jarrett. Tombs. Is right. Nice job. Fine for you. <laughs> Question two. In ancient times, Ajwan's nilometer measured the river's height. Why? To prepare for boat races, to forecast the annual harvest, or to prepare for the Christmas festival? Forecast yeah. the annual harvest. That's right. Nice job, Yesenia. <laughs> <laughs> Question three. Aswan may have begun with settlements on Elephantini Island, the legendary home of which mythical figure? Santa Claus, Stimson J. Cat, or Happy the Nile God? Ronnie. Happy the Nile God. Is right. Nice job, five for you. That means at the end of the lightning round, Ronnie has 85, Jared has 85, and Yesenia has 85. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, for our, uh, uh, this is very strange. Normally, this is when the chief calls me in, and I'm, quite frankly, I'm a little worried about her. Let me just go check on her. I'm sure everything's okay, but, uh, I just want to make sure she's all right. Be right back. Hiya, Chief. Listen, I was expecting you to call me in. Well, I couldn't, Greg. My intercom doesn't work. And look, my magnifying glass won't magnify. The, the blotter won't blot. Well, I, I can't even open my drawers. Chief, listen, maybe your desk is out of gas. Huh? What was the last time you had it filled? Well, you know, I've been so busy, I haven't even thought about it lately. Look here, this is your problem. It's bone dry, oh. huh? I'll fill it up for you. Okay. And while you do that, I'll tell the home viewers about the contest. Every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. That's right. Every day, we'll pick five people whose list are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here's your one today. Congratulations to the winner. Heck of a deal. Yeah. All right. Uh, full thank there, Chief. So, okay. All right. Same as always. There you go. Keep the change. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Drive safely. You bet. And don't play your radio too loud. You know what happened last time. See ya. Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Vic and the Brooklyn Bridge. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Vic and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Jeez, Carmen, no one wants to buy the bridge. Go to the city of Amman in a Middle East nation where many Palestinians live. Hey, Carmen, you lined up a buyer? No, I lined up a hideout. It's in a country ruled by King Hussein. His queen is an accomplished diplomat and a scholar on Middle Eastern issues. 
She's a graduate of Princeton University. Ah, big deal. I'm a graduate of MIT, Mel's Institute of Technology. <laughs> okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Jordan, Yemen, or Oman? Remember the clues that we heard? City of Amman, Middle East nation where many Palestinians live and ruled by King Hussein. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Jared's ready, so is Ronnie, so is Yesenia. Ronnie, what do you think? I chose Oman. Oman, what do you think, Jared? I chose Jordan. Jordan, Yesenia. I chose Jordan. Jordan, the answer we're looking for is Jordan. Nice job, guys. So that means, Ronnie, you're at 85, Jared 95, Yesenia 95. For our next clue, let's check the world band radio. <laughs> Heute hat die deutsche Hauptstadt einen überraschenden Besuch gehabt von der Puppenbücke. Ein Herr im englischen Blade-Anzug, der Sprecher der Gruppe, erhatte sie sein in der Stadt, um Europas großes Filmfestival zu besuchen und auch um etwas Musik zu machen mit dem bekannten Statischen Philharmonieorchester. Der Dirigent habe ihnen versprochen, er werde keine Stargabelspieler in der Streichorchester einsetzen. Hey guys, name the German city, if you will, please. Is it Hamburg, Bonn? Or Berlin. Remember the clues that we heard. Capital of Germany, big film festival, and renowned Philharmonic Orchestra. Trying to come up with an answer as quick as you can. And you've done it. Ronnie, what do you think? I chose Berlin. Berlin. Jared? I chose Berlin. Berlin. Yesenia? I chose Berlin. Everybody said Berlin. Everybody's right. Nice job. So, Ronnie, you're at 95, Jarrett 105, Yesenia 105. Now, we, we just received word that Vic has left Germany, so let's pick up the chase. The chase. All of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Vic Vamoose to the capital of Austria. Name it. Jarrett. Vienna. Is right. Then he boated the bridge from Vienna to Budapest. What river did he travel? Uh, Ronnie. The Danube. Is right. From Hungary, Vic jetted to Moldova. What country did he cross to get there? Ronnie. Romania. Is right. Next, he charged across Moldova's northern border. Jarrett. Ukraine. Is right. Vic breezed the bridge out of Ukraine and ran to Warsaw. Jarrett. Poland. Is right. Nice job. That means at the end of the chase, Ronnie 105, Jarrett 120, Yesenia 105. Nice job. Wow. That kind of shook some things up here. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look now, right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Vic is headed. If you think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, looks like everybody's ready. Now for our last clue, we go to Acme Prank Net. Go ahead, pen and teller. Hey, gumshoes. Vic the Slick is in a city in eastern Georgia where the big industry is the manufacture of craft paper, the heavy paper used for bags. It was the first city in the U.S. to have land for housing and other buildings laid out in precise grid-like plots like this. So everyone got an equal share. Now, you head for Georgia and bag that guy. Thanks, guys. Okay, name the city, if you will, please, Gumshoes. Is it Macon, Savannah, or Montgomery? Remember the clues that we heard. Eastern Georgia, craft paper, manufacturing, and first U.S. city laid out in grid. Yesenia, you have 105. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Savannah. Savannah is right. Nice job. <laughs> Takes you up to 125. Ronnie, you have 105 as well. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks as well. What'd you say? I chose Savannah. Savannah's right. Nice job. <laughs> Takes you to 125. Jarrett, you have 120. How much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 crime bucks. That, that, you don't look too happy to me. What'd you say? Macon. Macon. Oh, tough break. You're going to go down 30. That means Ronnie and Yesenia, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> Jared, listen, man, that was a tough break because you were in the lead for most of this whole uh, thing. You just kind of lost it there at the very end. But listen, you did some great stuff for us today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief.
Your help was indispensable in tracking down Vic. Now, here's a token of our appreciation. It's your Acme travel kit. Inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and it's your world ball. Perfect for half-court play, full-court play, or a lecture on plate tectonics. Yes. Congratulations. Okay, guys, it's time for us to go to Savannah to try to find Vic in the Brooklyn Bridge. You all ready to go? Yes. Okay. You send me a warning to once you get the door. You'll get my hat, please. We're on our way. You can come too. Let's go. Cause we got a great big convoy rolling through the lake. Ah, ah. We got a great big convoy. Hey, got a goodness sake. Okay, guys, here we are in Savannah taking positions right over here. The chief has some very important information. Ah! Hey, Scott, huh? you're not supposed to do that right now. Oh. It's for later. Oh. Sorry. You're a little early. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, uh, just listen very carefully. Here we go. There are 15 places here in Savannah where you might find Vic, the Warrant, or the Brooklyn Bridge. Here are a few of them. Johnson Square, one of 24 squares checkered around the city. It would be hard to hide a huge bridge in a peaceful spot like this. Next, Check the birthplace of Juliet Gordon Lowe. She founded the Girl Scouts of the United States of America in 1912. Uh, you won't catch Vic earning a merit badge for honesty here. Savannah College of Art and Design lends an air of creative energy to the city, and the weather is great for making outdoor art. Meow. <laughs> Last, head down to the water to the statue of the waving girl. Legend says she waved at passing ships, hoping that one carried her lost love. <laughs> or maybe she was just plain bored. Well, that's your briefing, gumshoes. Now, teach that king of polyester that stealing is in bad taste. Go get him. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, just as a reminder, you have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn. If you do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. You catch Carmen San Diego, and you get the trip, okay? Now, the two of you were tied at the end of the last round. We flipped the coin. Yesenia, you won that toss, and so now you're going to go first. Go ahead. Marshall Rowe. Marshall Rowe. Okay, nothing there, but we're on our way. Go ahead, Ronnie. First African Baptist Church. It's the first uh, African Baptist Church. Okay, nothing there. Yesenia. Julia Gordon Lowe's birthplace. That's right. She was the founder of uh, the uh, Girl Scouts of America. Let's see it. Nope, nothing there. Ronnie. Oglethorpe Square. Oglethorpe Square. Nope, sorry. Yesenia. Fort Pulaski. Fort Pulaski. Nothing. Thank you. <laughs> Ronnie, go ahead. Factors Walk. <laughs> Factors Walk. Okay, nothing there. Yes, anyhow, what do you say? Bull Street. What is it? Bull Street. Bull Street. <laughs> nothing there, Ronnie. Go ahead. King Tisdale Cottage. Uh, King... Oh, yeah, this is the uh, African American Museum there in Savannah. King Tisdale Cottage. Nothing there. Yes, Tybee Island. Tybee Island. Nothing. Thank you. Ronnie. You're welcome. <laughs> Ronnie, go ahead. Green Meldrum House. Uh, Green Meldrum House. Take the sleep. Whoa, you found Vic. Nice job. You get a free turn. Remember, Ronnie, has to be the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead. Bull Street. Bull Street. Nice strategy. We turn these back around. Yesenia, go ahead. Trustee's Garden. Uh, Trustee's Garden. Okay, nothing there. Ronnie, go ahead. Tybee Island. Tybee Island. Whoa. Yeah, I think we tried that one once before. We turn it back around. Yesenia, go ahead. Savannah College of Art and Design. Savannah College of Art and Design. No, and nothing from the Rockapella boys off to the side. Ronnie, go ahead. Yamacraw Bluff. Yamacraw Bluff. Burgle Bridge. Nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead, Ronnie. Maritime Museum. Maritime Museum. Nothing there. We turn it back around, but you did find the loot. Nice job. Yesenia. Yamacraw Bluff. Yamacraw Bluff. Crooklyn Bridge. <laughs> that was good. Go ahead, Yesenia. Waving Girl Statue. Waving Girl Statue. The warrant. Oh, you have the loot, you have the warrant. Do you remember where Vic is? 
Green Meldrum House. Is he still at Green Meldrum House? Fish yeah! Fish. Oh. oh, yeah! Come here, Yesenia! <laughs> nice job! Very nice job. Now, as you know, here's the chain. You know what you have to do? Put on the chain and put him in jail. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. But first, oh, I'm sorry, am I hurting you? I'm, she's very sensitive. I heard her earlier as well. Okay. Ronnie, we're going to talk about you now. You were a fantastic detective. You tracked Vic all the way here. Chief, what do we have for her? I know how hard you've been working. And I know that some cases can be tough on a young gumshoe. So, to cheer you up, I've assembled an official Acme travel kit, along with a world band radio that you can use to catch up on the latest from Radio Japan, the BBC, the Voice of America, even Radio Moscow. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Chief. All right, here we have the portfolio. You know what's inside of it. You know what you're here to do. We have to find out what, where you want to go. If you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip, there you go. All right, now we have to find out uh, where Carmen San Diego is. Before we can uh, do that, we have to usually get a phone call on that, and it happens right about now. Hello? Greg, this is Marsha. Remember when I helped you out on that case a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. Remember you said if there was any way you could return the favor, I should just call? Yeah. Well, listen, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. I'm about to drive up to Yosemite for the weekend, and my headlights are kind of dirty. I'm sure you understand a big-time celebrity like me can't be seen driving around in a scruffy automobile. So I'm going to drop the car by your office. And if you could just clean up the headlights and maybe floss the radiator grill while you're at it, I'd really appreciate it. You're a real pal, Greg. Bye. Thanks a lot, Marcia. That was not the phone call I was expecting, obviously. But usually we get one and... Uh, okay. Hello? Yes, she's right here. For you. Hello? Don, that Carmen... I've gone from salesman of the century to starch and socks in the prison laundry. I'm climbing down the ladder of success. Look for Carmen in Europe. What do you say? He said we're going to Europe. Okay. You and I are going to Europe, Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Ireland. Spain. France. Italy. Bosnia-Herzegovina. Croatia. Slovenia. Germany. Denmark. Poland, Ukraine, Belarus, Russia. Greg, let's go to the map. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, you know what you have to do, right? Yes. Okay, uh, what you have to do is get eight different countries in 45 seconds. If you put it on the right place, you hear this sound. If you're wrong, though, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, leave the mark where it is, come on back, and we will continue. But eight right answers in 45 seconds, and you win the trip. Are you ready? Yes. You guys ready? Come on, let's do that thing. Come on. Get up there and grab a marker. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Let's get the dead guy off the map, please. Sorry, Sonia. Just anywhere. Just, we got to go. Thank you. Okay. 45 seconds on the clock. Good luck to you, Sonia. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Carmen with the wrong Italy. Italy. Yeah, come on. Krakow, Poland, Poland. Do it, do it, Poland. No, try it again, try it again, Poland. No, come on back. Ljubljana, Slovenia, Slovenia, Slovenia. No, try it again, Slovenia. Come on back, come on back. Kiev, Ukraine, Ukraine. Do it, do it, Ukraine. Do it. No, try it again, try it again. Gotta hurry. Come on back. Cork, Ireland, Ireland. You know this one. Cheer on, guys. Cheer on. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah! Marseille, France! France! Try it, try it, try it. Yeah, come on! Moscow, Russia! Moscow, Russia! Oh! Three and 45 seconds. This is a tough map. Give her a nice round of applause, you guys. Come here, bud. 
Oh, it's very hard, isn't it? You get all turned around. We got a big old thing here. You're upside down, but you didn't do bad at all because remember, you caught Patty. That's what we asked you to do. Chief, what do you say? Carmen San Diego can be hard to catch, but you did the job you were hired to do. You captured Vic the Slick. That's why I'm giving you a portable CD player and this library of CDs from around the world. And pay particular attention to this CD by Rockapella, featuring our theme song. It may contain some useful clues for your next case. And listen with pride. You are a sleuth. Congratulations. There you go, sleuth. Put it right there. I'm tired of you. Yes. I am too. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do, though. You know what it is? Do it, Rockapella! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on a long boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their stolen property. Oh, they got all the right on the boat. Red Sea to Greenland. Tell me, straight in the blue. Well, they never Arkansas her steal. The Rico from the jungle. And remember, it's wrong for folks to steal and rob. But hey, keeps me in my job. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded.